question states that a triploblastic acylamate among the following is and the options given are first option ascaris. Ascaris is triploblastic pseudoxylomate and not acylomate. Second option Aurelia, Aurelia is jellyfish and it belongs to phylum Nidaria and the Nidarians are diploblastic acylomate. So, as Aurelia is incorrect because it is not triploblastic. Third option Fasciola, Fasciola, Fasciola belongs to the phylum Platyhalaminthes and Platyhalaminths are triploblastic acylomate animals. So, correct answer to this question is option number C. Fourth option, Pharathema. Pharathema is earth form and Pharathema belongs to the phylum Annelida. And Annelids are triploblastic coelomate animals and not acylomate. So, this cannot be a correct answer. Correct answer to this question is option number 3 that is C, Fasciola. Proceeding to the next question, question states that choose the incorrect match with respect to presence of bonds. Chitin. Chitin is a homopolysaccharide and it is homopolymer of N-acetyl glucosamine and monosaccharides are linked by glycosidic bonds. We have to find out the incorrect match and this match is correct. So, this cannot be a correct answer. Second option insulin peptide bonds. Insulin is a protein and proteins are polymer of amino acids and amino acids in a protein are linked by peptide bonds. So, this is also a correct match. Third option cholesterol phosphodiester bonds, this is incorrect. Nucleotides are linked by phosphodiester bonds. Fourth option cellulose, cellulose is a polysaccharide and in polysaccharide glycosidic bonds are present. So, incorrect matches C and correct answer to this question is option number C. Now, proceeding to the next question students, question states that odd one with respect to events happening during inspiration is. And the options given are first option contraction of external intercostal muscles, this is correct. During inspiration both diaphragm and external intercostal muscles contract. When external intercostal muscles contract, ribs and sternum are raised, thereby increasing the volume of thoracic cavity. Second option contraction of diaphragm, this is also correct. When diaphragm contracts, then volume of thoracic cavity increases in anterior posterior axis and when external intercostal muscles contract, then volume of thoracic cavity increases on dorsoventral axis. Third option, decrease in intrapulmonary pressure. This is because when volume of thoracic cavity increases, then lungs expand and pulmonary volume also increases and when pulmonary volume increases, pulmonary pressure decreases and this decreases with respect to the atmospheric pressure and air rushes inside and this is known as what? Inspiration. Fourth option, decrease in volume of thoracic chamber, this is incorrect. During inspiration, volume of thoracic chamber increases and here what is written? Decrease. So, this is incorrect and we have to find out the odd one, odd one is D. So, correct answer to this question is option number fourth. Proceeding to the next question students, question states that match the following column 1 and column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1 A, adaptive immune response and this adaptive immune response is due to B and T lymphocytes. So, A matches with 2. Acquired immunity is also known as adaptive immunity. B associated with allergic reactions, eosinophils resist infection and are associated with allergic reactions. So, B matches with 3, secretes serotonin and heparin, this is the function of basophils, basophils secretes histamine, heparin and serotonin, very important. So, C matches with 4th. Most abundant leukocyte among WBCs, most abundant are neutrophils. Neutrophils are around 60 to 65 percent of the total WBCs. D matches with 1. And let us see this combination is given in which option? A with 2, B with 3, C with 4, D with 1. This is given in option number 1. So, correct answer to this question is option 1. Now, proceeding to the next question. Question states that which of the following is not an example of organs showing convergent evolution? 
and the options given are first option eye of octopus and of mammals they are example of analogous organs and analogous organs arise as a result of convergent evolution so this cannot be a correct answer second option sweet potato and potato this is also an example of analogous organs and analogous organs arise as a result of convergent evolution so this cannot be a correct answer third option wings of butterfly and of birds again they are example of analogous organs so this cannot be a correct answer fourth option vertebrate hearts and brain they are example of homologous organs and homologous organs arise as a result of divergent evolution and not convergent evolution so correct answer to this question is option number 4 vertebrate hearts or brains now proceeding to the next question